Okay, now we're going to do a very simple calculation, and this is just to show how to do things like calculating a BMI. And that's the one we're going to go with here in the example. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a new column. Just right click and insert a new column. And I've given it the label of BMI. It's a little bit, little bit complex, but not, not super complex in calculating this. And, and let me give you the formula and then we'll go through the steps and I'm going to do it two different ways. One is just to calculate it given the data that we have. And then we're going to break it down into individual steps, which I think is actually a little bit easier to understand. I also think it highlights one of the benefits of doing this in Excel as you can see step by step how a formula will result in the desired output. So BMI is calculated by taking the weight in kilograms and dividing it by the height in square meters. All right, now you'll know in this data set, we don't have the height in meters. We already did the weight in kilograms, but we're gonna ignore that on this first go through and then we'll go back and use the weight in kilograms that we've already calculated, which I think is a little bit easier. So to do this, we're gonna start in cell H2 with that new column we created and hit the equal sign. All right, and then we're gonna hit an open parentheses and we're putting it in parentheses because we want the division, or excuse me, the multiplication portion of it to occur first get the product of the multiplication in the numerator and the denominator and then divide, all right? So the first thing we need to do is get the weight in kilograms. Like I said, I know we already have it, but we're gonna do this manually, okay? So the weight is here, so let's go ahead and click cell E2 and then multiply that by the kilogram factor that we already have, which is in cell I2, all right? Then we're gonna hit the close parenthesis uh, the right parenthesis and then uh, a, a forward slash because we're going to divide another open parenthesis because we want this this division this multiplication step to occur uh, before it does uh, the division portion of it and then we're going to take uh, the height all right now the height in this case uh, is going to be multiplied by point uh, zero two five four all right and then a closing parenthesis and now we're going to use that caret symbol which is the exponent symbol okay that's on your six key so we'll hold the shift down and hit six and that'll insert the the caret the up arrow the exponent operator and then a number two all right and then we'll hit enter okay now because we manually entered 2.54, when I copy this down, it'll be okay. But I also need to reference an absolute reference here for uh, cell I2, all right, because I don't want that to move with our calculation. So now I've got the dollar sign in, in where the letter and the number go for the column and row reference. Then we'll take this and copy it down and we'll get a calculation. Now there's something interesting here. I actually have an error in my factor for the kilograms to pounds. It's not uh, 0.4636, it's 0.536. Now the nice thing is I made that adjustment, it didn't change it by a, by a, by a lot, but because I'm referencing that cell, I only have to make the change one time. I don't have to go into each individual cell and change it, which is nice. If I made that mistake here, I would have had to change it in each cell or copy it down to get it to be correct. Now, another way to do this is um, to say uh, inches to meters. That'd probably be another way to do it. And remember, it's 0 0.254. Sorry, need a zero in front of it, 254. Okay, now I can go back into that cell and remove the entry that I had in there and just reference cell J2. And remember, we have to put dollar signs in front of it because we don't want it to move relative to the position that it's at and then copy it down. Of course, this isn't going to change the number. It just updates the cell reference. All right. I'm also going to change the color of that cell because I'm using it as a reference in the formula. So anyone that sees this will know that these are references. All right. That's creating it uh, all the whole formula all encompassed in one particular cell and one formula. Another way to have done this was to create or insert another cell here between cell between columns G and, and H uh, and, and change this so that it is height uh, in 
and I should put it in parentheses, in meters, all right? Uh, and actually I could say height in meters squared. That'd probably be a better way to do it. That way the whole entire calculation um, is done there. In fact, sometimes I, I might even do this in another step that does the, the squared component of it. All right, and so for this one, it's going to equal uh, cell G2, and then we can multiply it by the reference to cell, which is now K2, and it will create that height for me automatically. Now I can go back into my BMI calculation and make this even, even simpler because I can replace that entire calculation with just this one. All right, and now uh, that calculation will function properly. And can it, can, again, it's not gonna change the number if it's done correctly. And now I'm just referencing uh, the meters squared cell that I created before. And I can go back and do the same thing with the original reference that's in the, in the, uh, in the numerator to the equation and just make it the weight in kilograms uh, there and then copy this down. And it should not change the number because it's the same calculation unless I did something wrong. All right, so we went through really, really two ways of doing this, doing the entire calculation in one cell or breaking it into steps, right? And, I, and, I, and I've showed sort of two ways to do it. Now, why I prefer breaking it down into steps from a learning perspective is that I can easily see this was the original weight in pounds. This is now the weight that I've converted in kilograms. This is the height in inches and then the height in meters squared. Uh, in fact, I, like I said, I would probably break this down one step before is just to do the height in meters and then the height in meters squared so that it's very clear what it is that I'm doing as I'm progressing through the steps. So that's the BMI calculation. Of course, there are other calculations in the biostatistics realm like a BMI that require numerous inputs in order to create the final output.